Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. He was an older gentleman. Well, I found the article uh, from the news and it said he's been stabbed. Somebody was charged with second degree murder. First glance, we've got some bloody sheets in the kitchen. This is blood. Probably like, there's blood up here, here, all down here. And we found where he was stabbed. Florida on a homicide. This was a stabbing. Happened Saturday. Um, we're not sure what the scene looks like. Let's take a look. The odor in here is in there really there isn't an odor. Um, it smells like an animal. There's there was definitely an animal in here. Yeah, there was an animal in there. <laughs> the Bible. First glance, we've got some bloody sheets in the kitchen. There's quite a bit of bloody laundry. So we're gonna take and discard all of that. If you guys wanna come take a look, so you see what you're looking at. There is zero blood anywhere in here. Assuming this is where it had happened. They suspected it was in the living room, but they weren't sure where anything had happened because the crime scene investigators didn't disclose any of that information. So we are definitely sight unseen. There might be blood on there's, the door right here. there's a little bit of blood here on the mattress. This is blood, probably like, there's a little bit of blood there. All in all, it's a, we'll, we'll uh, indicate and wipe this kind of stuff down here. There's not a lot. I mean, there's a stabbing, happened Saturday, the guy was removed the same day. Um, somebody reported a wellness check because they heard foul play. It's not the worst I've seen so far. I'm not too concerned. I don't know. I don't want to say anything and then, have it be taken out of context. Really easy job. The thing is male, it's cool in the house. It's just a little bit of blood, and that's it. There's blood up here, here, all down here. Right there. There's blood over here, too. Oof. So what I'm doing is I'm taking pictures. This is an active crime scene. Uh, we just got permission at 4.30ish last night to come in and go ahead and clean up. So all I'm doing is I'm taking photos of the blood splatter, of anything that we're having to discard, um, the mattress, and an assumption this is where he died. This is where the most blood is pulled, right here on, uh, on this comforter set. Any spot that is blood splatter from the stabbing, I'm just taking photo of it. That said, you can kind of see the tracks of where they were. So, assuming there's this footprint. Ah. So this is where it starts. I think it's very sad about what happened. Um, it was an older gentleman. Um, it said, well, I found the article uh, from the news and it said he's been stabbed. Somebody was charged with second degree murder. Um, I guess it happened Saturday. It's just sad, nobody should have to go like that. But we'll get it all cleaned up. 
it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look as as bad as the jobs that I've been on. I'm not really like affected by that. It's just like who who were these people? Why did this happen? He seems to be you know a religious fella. God is our only God is only a prayer away, and the Bible's on the table. And then being stabbed, and then dying from that. That's I don't know. But we don't know the whole story. We just see what we see here, and there's a lot of blood over there that we couldn't see with our eyes. So, who knows? But someone's been charged with the, with the murder. So, makes me feel a little bit better knowing that they're not out there, that they're gonna do it again. But with this world that we live in nowadays, it's, you know, you'd have to be naive to think that it's not gonna happen again. If it doesn't happen again, we'll all be out of a job. I love them when they're fresh out of the sanitation. I'm putting the body bag in the bin to start cleaning the floor. Out where he was stopped. So we're gonna, we're gonna kind of assume, now that that's blood, and we found where he was stabbed. Oh yeah, found where he was stabbed, Bill. Holy moly. I'm gonna work to discard this stuff. While you guys work to discard that stuff, let me grab another bio bin, put my mask on. I'm already double gloved. Let's rock and roll. The customer doesn't know if this is not, if or not blood. 
We know because we have indicator, but the consumer doesn't know. So it's better if you clean, just clean. left and then food I'm fucking hungry. hey guys so we are here in Bradenton my hometown at the same apartment complex that we were at at episode 9 of season 1 maggot racing so welcome back guys season 2 we started off great we are on a homicide it happened five days ago. The odor's not too, too bad. We got everything cleared up. Everything is cleaned up. You can see here, this is where the blood trail had stopped. So we're assuming other than a couple of footprints going this way into the kitchen, it was essentially his last steps. If you follow me, we have the whole kitchen cleared out. So there was a lot of sheets. The pillows in the sheets were actually in the kitchen. You guys can take a look inside of there. So this is where the actual scene had taken place. We had sanitized and cleaned the floor, though there was nothing on the floor. Um, this is where I'm leaving my ozone, just because this is where it actually had taken place. The mattress was right here. It was actually leaning up against the wall. I dropped it after I cleaned up the pile of bloody comforter. Um, if you follow back with me, there's nothing on the walls over here. Uh, there was blood splatter throughout on everything, probably from the knife wielding lady. Uh, we did get all of that cleaned up. And uh, Juan actually removed this guy right here. We didn't have a choice. It had seeped just enough into where it gets stuck together because I had a brain fart. Anyway, into the seam. <laughs> it's where, where it seeped just enough to where we had to cut it. It luckily wasn't on any type of the drywall. Um, there was a lot of blood splatter here. So this is where we're assuming it had originally taken place. He had wandered throughout and then died on the mattress in the other bedroom. Wasn't a super, super hard job, but it was very labor intensive just scrubbing the walls. Um, visually, with our indicator, we sprayed everything. These are the only two remaining pieces that we were able to keep out of the whole bedroom, other than the nightstand behind me. So we're pretty much good to go. I'm gonna set up my ozone machine and get out of here because I'm really hungry. I want a sandwich. Hey guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Pause for the cause and ring that bell to get notifications when we launch our new episodes every Thursday. Have a good day guys. Peace.